Bowman here from BW1.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the new Windows 8 start screen on a touchscreen enabled device. So previously I posted up a video for sort of non touchscreen devices, desktops, sort of how to navigate through the interface using your mouse and keyboard. In this tutorial we're going to pretty much focus on touchscreen devices here and we're using Lenovo Yoga, uh, IdeaPad Yoga 13 as sort of an example of one of those type devices here. So yeah, obviously you guys are familiar with the new lock screen that Windows 8 has and all you have to do is just swipe up like this opens right up. If you have a password, it's going to make you type that in and the on-screen keyboard will pop up. But if not, you'll go right into the um, main interface right here. And you can see it's pretty intuitive. You pretty much touch, scroll, swipe to left and right to go between your different uh, groups and tiles and such like that. And you still have the live tiles, which give you the quick access to the little information and stuff like that. Pretty cool thing here is you do, you, um, let's say we hold on to a tap and hold on to a live tile here. You can pull it and it basically allows you to organize it any way you kind of want to. Let's show you that again. You swipe it, oh, let's try that again. If you go tap and hold, pull down, you can organize it around and you can do the same thing with any of them here. Just tap and pull down to organize the groups. If you want to just see what options that tile has, you gotta do is tap and, tap and pull down and let it go. You can see here it brings up the quick uh, little information. You can unpin, you can make it smaller if you want to. Do that again here, pull that back up. You can turn off live tiles and we can bring it back to being larger and turn the live tile back on just like that. So that's pretty cool. And that's gonna really pretty much how you navigate things. There's gonna be things that kind of swipe them up and down in the corner to bring, to give you sort of the right click options that you, with the options you normally get with right click, that's how you kind of gonna get them through touch through the new interface here. And also you can actually group these icons differently as well too. If you do quick pinch to zoom like that. It'll bring you to where you have all, all your sort of um, pinned apps on the start menu here. And if you pull down, if you just do the quick sort of uh, swipe down like that a little bit, you can rename the group if you want to. So you can name this group, brings up the on-screen keyboard as you can see here. I will name it uh, apps for now. Hit name there. You can also organize them as you want to. And you keep pulling down like that. You can see tap, hold, and sort of pull. You can reorganize them, tap, hold down, pull like that. And you can organize them around as you want to. And you can rename groups as well too. So it has Lenovo apps here. Let's say I don't want to, to be that name. I can change it to, you know, Lenovo yoga apps if I want to. So, oops, let's see right here. Oops. Keep hitting that and maintain up there. All right, go back here. There we go there. And you can see how sort of the keyboard works here. It has that similar sound that you heard if you've used a Windows phone before, so it has a similar sound, similar kind of feel to it. You can um, you can tap right here to get to um, the your number pads and symbols and stuff like that. Hit up here, you can have different options, have sort of a split keyboard if you want to. You can draw in if you want to. You can do a little write out if you want to. Head on back here. A thinks it's an E. It's always interesting. Let's go ahead back here. Oh, that's how you shrink it back down. Let's bring it back up here. And up to the main keyboard. But you guys get the idea there with that. And just expand back out like that to get out of that little group, um, sort of group uh, menu there to, to organize groups and such. All right. And when you're inside any application, let's say we're in, uh, we'll hop into weather app you can see here we'll allow it to use our location as before in an app here and you can navigate through the app the same way as you did before well we don't want to worry about that later and you can see navigate through and swiping down you can see swipe down here it gives you different information within the app so you can have favorite places world weather you can also see that the bottom here comes up. We can change the Celsius, refresh. You can see how the menu options just sort of pop up just by swiping either at the top or the bottom in the middle there. You can also swipe here to the side and use your charms right here. And each one of these charms allows you to do different things. So you hit the search charms, gonna let you search through um, pretty much to search within the weather app, but you can also, I'm just gonna write stuff. You can choose the apps or settings or files or Bing or anything else that you want to search through as well too. So it has a dynamic search feature, which is pretty nice. Go ahead and swipe those up again. You can hit share. Sharing allows you, better yet, sharing is probably best if we 
use that within, let's say, particular app. Let's do it in the travel. Let's say we have Bing Travel. Where do we put that? At? And um, well, we'll do we'll do the stock one instead. That's fine. Go ahead and hit back here. Some news. Let's say you want to read this news story here. Angry Birds. And you want to share that story. It'll bring up different options here for sharing. So you can share within the People Hub. If I add my Microsoft account to share within Facebook, email, Evernote, things like that. And you swipe over here again. You can stay at the start. And it brings you obviously back to the start menu here. Devices. Any device you have you plugged in. It'll pretty much show up right here. And you can manage those. Swipe again. And you have your settings. Which gives you quick access to your sort of your, your network, your sound, screen, notifications, things like that. And your power options as well too. Your keyboard. And you also go here to change your PC settings. You've seen this before here. We can change your lock screen apps, users, all sorts of things like that. Share. Pretty much customize this out to exactly how you want it. We can hit that home button right here. Brings us right back to this menu here. So and also there's multitasking of course as well too basically you get to your last application you just have to swipe to from left to right over here and you can bring up the app and you can kind of quickly go through them if you want to and you can also let's go back here to the main one here you can also sort of see how many apps that you have open so if you swipe one over and then you bring it back like that you can see what apps you have open and quickly just tap on the one you quickly want to go to went to the desktop there and let's say I want to add something to the desktop and I want to have like a split view all right let's see here let's actually bring it up here and you see a little divider comes up with three dots on it allows you to split between two different applications and swipe over here you can choose which one has the larger um, the larger amount of space so you can have your stock ticker right there while you're doing some work here within a desktop and you can interact between the two of them so that's pretty cool there closing out an application is simply as going to the top here pulling down closing out like that same thing here that closes out the application pretty simple pretty straightforward once you kind of know it you kind of get the hang of it there but overall that's pretty much how you're going to navigate on a touch enabled uh, device much simpler, much less to really know versus uh, on non touch screen device. It's kind of like kind of obvious. You swipe here, swipe there, swipe anywhere. You pretty much get your options pulled up. Same thing with all apps, things like that. You want to pin that. Let's say we want to pin that to taskbar. We want to pin from start. We can do that for any applications over there. And they have it separated in groups too. Let's bring up the let's bring up the all apps again. That's up between Windows 8 apps that are over here and sort of all your standard legacy applications over here on this side. So that's just a quick walkthrough on how to navigate the Windows 8 start screen with when you have a touchscreen enabled device. Like I said, much easier to kind of navigate through, a little more intuitive, but once you kind of get the trick to it, and once you have the trick to it, it's pretty, pretty cool and pretty um, nice to use. So if you have any questions at all, please definitely post them in the comments. Post them at our website at bw1.com. The link to that is in the description. Join us on all our social networking from Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Links to those are in the description. Hit the subscribe button, subscribe to our YouTube page if you really like our videos here. Give our video a like as well, too. Really does help us out and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.